What's up guys, Max here and welcome back. Today I'm gonna test this AMD Athlon 200 GE. This is a Zen 1 architecture 2 core 4 thread with integrated Vega graphics with 3 GPU units. The goal of this video is to understand if we can play some basic esports games at low detail. So let's find out. Before we start, there's some information you need to know. This CPU is locked, it means that CPU and GPU can't be overclocked. And as well, the memory have a maximum of 2666 MHz. But there's a good thing that you can change the timings, so you can find some lower timings, low settings to improve a bit the graphics performance. Another important feature is FreeSync. You can enable FreeSync with this APU. As you can see, the Ryzen Master is locked. You can only see the temp and the frequency, so it's pretty much useless. The first test is Dota 2. This is made in Full HD, low quality. Lowest quality, resolution scale at 100%, 1080p. We have now around 60 FPS. So, regarding Dota 2, the answer is yes. This APU can run Dota 2. The next test is CSGO. Again, I will play at low detail at 1080p. I know that pro players play at lower resolution, but my capture card is not capable of going below 1080p. So, I will play at 1080p, low details. For this test, I'm gonna follow so pro player in a match so we can have a real-world situation. We have an average of 76-75 FPS, 59-1% low and 39.1% low. Well, that's changing a lot, but what's important is the average that is 73-74 and 58-1% low. Once again, this CPU to me passed the test, so with this APU you can play CSGO. And now World of Warcraft, but here the things get a bit tricky, so let me show you why. When you go into the system, the recommended settings is 4, and to me it's kind of too much because we have 40 FPS here, but in this case with this monitor I have 45 as minimum for the free sync. But let's find out. I like to play at more or less 60 FPS, 50 to 60, with the free sync enabled or G sync in case. So now, as you can see, the frame rate is dropping. Thank you. 
take a look here when I do my spell the FPS drops and drops by a lot it's such a pity that we have only free GPU unit so you can play at quality 4 but if you want more FPS you can drop some graphic settings to free and now we have 60 FPS the bottleneck here is clearly the GPU usually in World of Warcraft as you may know the bottleneck is the CPU but here it seems we have enough and the GPU is constantly at 100% we have only 3 units it's like one third of a 2200G okay let's try a dungeon Hmm, we have some frame drops. I need a target. Well, a bit low, honestly. Let's lower to the minimum. Well, it doesn't change a lot. You can play by the way, but I'm not a big fan of 30 FPS especially when we have dropped to 19, 20 we are at the minimum quality so let's lower the resolution a bit let's say 720p ok, here we can Okay, so in dungeons we have to lower the resolution to 720p to maintain a 47-46 FPS. But it looks like Warcraft 1, but again for a $55 CPU I think it's okay. Such a pity, again that we have only free GPU units. There we go. Okay, so dungeon quality one and seven twenty P. and Corlane appear to be attempting a new type of ritual. Stop them before it goes too far. Okay, let's put back the resolution to 100%. Quality free. And let's see if we can do it. So, in conclusion, we have a CPU that is capable of running some eSport games, even World of Warcraft, and, well, most of it, let's say Dungeon at 720p and World Quest at 1080p, which is fine, and we have a power consumption of the whole system at 60 to 65 watts, which is half the power consumption of the 2200G or 2400G. The PT is the free GPU unit which is not enough 
to play everything at 1080p and in low details. But as well, we are talking about $55 MSRP. Again, you can play some games with a very low budget. But if you have more, like $90, you can find the 2200G, which is a way more powerful than this. Okay, comment in the comment, like if you like it, and see you in the next one.